it's that time of year again. The doors soon will be open on our fifth annual show house for the Princess Margaret Hospital Foundation. Our design team's been at it again, building another sprawling family home, but this time with a whole new look. Last year, we were inspired by those big, sprawling vacation houses from the East Coast, so we did our own version of the Hamptons Beach House. It was our most popular house yet with its wide veranda, remember? Cathedral ceilings, dark stained floors, great house. So, when you do houses that are that popular, it makes it really tough to do something even better this year. We were struggling with inspiration. And then I remember last winter being in New York City, going to see the new Ralph Lauren home store in Madison and falling in love with his butterfly leather camp chairs. They were from his new California Romantics collection and believe it or not, those chairs sparked the whole house. This would be a country house inspired by wine country. Casual, but still elegant, and the kind of rustic grand style that I once remember seeing on a trip to Argentina where I stayed in a romantic estanza. Now this would mean a stucco exterior, lots of French doors all the way around, wide louver shutters, and warm wood details throughout. Believe it or not, the design process starts the day we finish the last house, and by February we're breaking ground. And they dig the hole, and then we wait. And that's the hard part, because we're impatient. Eventually the walls go up, the insulation gets done, the exterior cladding, and then the house starts to take shape. And soon we're worried about wiring and where we're going to put all the lights and the sconces and the bathroom fixtures and details really start to kick in. My favorite part is when rooms start to take shape and the flooring goes in. That's always exciting. One of the most critical parts of the whole job is picking the color, especially the exterior color, because you know, you're going to be driving by that house and if it's wrong, you're going to know it. Decorating the house is the most fun part. And usually by the time we get to that stage, we have a really clear vision of what each room will look like. So we start by coming up with a palette. We do the fan, and this here it was mustard and rust and white and tobacco brown and taupe color. So the furniture arrives, truckloads of it, some to test, some that we've pre-ordered that we know we're keeping. And the style we wanted this year was traditional, classic, rustic, but also some pieces with a real edge, so you'll have some surprises in there. And all through the house, we have all these gorgeous antiques mixed with new furniture from our travels. The decorating stage is crowned by the styling stage. That's when all the furniture's in, the truckloads have gone back and forth, you stand back, you take a look, and you say, okay, what does this room need to really make it sing? So then you bring in plants and art, accessories, books, very important. That's my favorite stage and it takes many hands. Our team has spent 11 months on this project. They've made countless site visits and traveled far and wide to find all those special details that we love and we hope you'll love too. The doors to this dream house will soon be open. So keep watching House and Home online TV. Look for my tours of all the beautiful rooms in the house and you'll definitely want to buy a ticket first to support important cancer research at the Princess Margaret Hospital, and secondly, because you might win.